Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate you taking some time on your Saturday. My name is Patrick LeDuc. I'm a vice president at Vermont Student Assistance, and we really are happy to see you here today. We've had students from all over the state register for this event today, and it looks like for the numbers of people that we have in the room and the number of the people that we have that we know are watching online, that you all know how important this conversation can be. I also know it can be a really stressful conversation, uh, but we got you, okay? We do this for a living and we are here to support you. We're your support team, your counselors in your schools, your VZAC staff, all the people that are out there holding tables, we're your support team. So use us to help you navigate this process. I also wanna thank all the parents for being here today and the guardians to learn and help and support the students during this process. It means a lot for you to be here. We've got a few speakers we'd like to introduce and then we're gonna get you right off to these workshops that we have today. So to say, say a few words on behalf of the University of Vermont, I'm pleased to introduce Dr. Jay Jacobs. He's the vice president or vice provost for enrollment management here. Jay leads all areas relating to the university's undergraduate student recruitment and retention through a division comprised of undergraduate admissions, the office of the registrar, student financial services, and strategic retention. He sounds like a busy man. Jay holds a bachelor's in economics from St. Lawrence University, a master's in higher education administration, and he has a doctorate in education centered on access to selective institutions for low-income students. Please welcome Jay. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the University of Vermont. To those of you watching online, thanks for, for joining us today. Um, not only am I excited that you are here with us today, I'm also really, really impressed. You're starting your college search process early. You're starting uh, the, your, your career prepar preparation early. Um, and that's a really, really incredible thing. I hope that you're ready to take advantage of the sessions today put on by my colleagues and experts across the state um, in, in what they do experts in your college search, in financing your education, in financial literacy, in standardized test prep, in college essay prep, all of these things that you get to take advantage of today. Um, you're really lucky. Many thanks to the folks at VSAC uh, for putting this on, uh, to the teams at uh, the Vermont Agency of Education, Advance Vermont, the UVM admissions team, and the many, many more for taking your time to share your expertise and wisdom with Vermonters across, the, uh, uh, across our state. I think it's all I think it's all critical that you start this start understanding your wide variety of options that you have for higher education in our state today. Well, of course, I hope that we at UVM enroll Vermonters as the state public flagship and land grant institution. We know that our peers at CCV, Vermont State, and the many other institutions of higher edu uh, of higher education provide incredible opportunities to you, the students here in Vermont. Whatever your goals and aspirations are, there are institutions here in our state to help you achieve those um, and our right uh, for you to be intellectually stimulating, to be socially the right fit, and of course, importantly, uh, the right financial fit for you and your families. Throughout today, uh, I hope that you get to enjoy our campus. I hope that you learn about the innovative ways our community of faculty and staff are um, tackling some of the world's greatest challenges, uh, both for today and for tomorrow. And primarily, I hope that you feel better prepared for the college search and application process, for uh, the career interview process, whatever your ambitions are and whatever process you're embarking on. Um, and lastly, I hope that you feel like you belong today. I hope you feel like you belong on our campus here at UVM, at the other institutions of higher education throughout the state, and in uh, our communities that, again, are pushing the world um, in, in new ways, in right ways, uh, preparing for our future. Again, thank you so much for uh, the, my colleagues at VSAC for organiza organizing this event, for the University Event Services team and, and uh, UVM tech team on tech and logistics, et cetera. And primarily thank you, students, families, um, and Vermonters for taking time to spend your Saturday with us um, and, and, and enriching and, and starting your process on the right foot. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day today.
Thank you very much, Jay. Appreciate your being here and your partnership in hosting this event. And again, special thanks to your tech team for managing all the behind the scenes virtual processes here. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce Representative Jill Krowinski, who is our Speaker of the House of Representatives here in Vermont. Speaker Krowinski has served in the House since 2012 and has a range of experiences, including non serving at nonprofits and serving on many community boards. One of those positions that I noted when I was reviewing her bio was as commissioner of the Fletcher Fleet Library, a role I greatly appreciated having been on, involved in helping to build a public library in my own community. Speaker Krowinski, thank you for joining us today to speak with these students and their families about their future. We know you have a very busy schedule and a complicated schedule, and we appreciate your support of our work and, the, and your commitment to the future of our state and these families. Good morning, everyone. It is so great to see all of you here and exciting to just learn about what opportunities lie ahead for you and what VSAC has to offer. I really want to thank VSAC for all they do to support students and families and for their work to get this vital information out across the state for future generations of students. It is such a privilege to be a legislator. Since I've started, I have been committed to ensuring that there are opportunities available for everyone from all walks of life and ensuring that you will be set up for success in whatever your chosen path may be. Year after year, we see students across Vermont look at all available options to take on new and exciting possibilities after high school. Previous generations did not have the same pathways. And for me personally, it often felt like there were only a few options to choose from that would set me up on a course for the rest of my life. Now, more than ever, your possibilities are endless. With that said, I know limit, limitless choices can also seem intimidating and overwhelming, right? I assure you that you are in great hands with BSAC, with your teachers, your guardians, your loved ones around you that want you to succeed and to find happiness. BSAC has been assisting students for almost 60 years. Today is a great opportunity to ask questions, to understand the options before you, and to utilize their knowledge and expertise in considering the next steps. You might know exactly what you want after graduation, or you might have an open, wide open slate ahead of you, but please know that there's not one perfect correct path out there. Whatever you choose, trust that it will change a couple times before you get to where you're going and that it feels right. Traditionally, this time comes with feeling that you must choose the right thing to do for the rest of your life, but know that there's no pressure to make this lifelong decision, that there are a few things in your life that um, are only set in stone, and I advise you to follow your passions, follow your gut, and follow your heart. With each graduating class, I am amazed by their resilience and thoughtfulness to make a better tomorrow. You are Vermont's most vital asset, pushing all of us to lead and to innovate. You are dedicated to making real change to improve the world before us. I couldn't be more excited to see how you shape your collective future together. I hear your voices already speaking up on issues like reproductive rights, climate change, the state of our democracy. Now is your time to celebrate your hard work, learn as much as possible, and discover more about yourself and your values. Today, my message to you is to encourage you to raise your curiosity and questions about the state and about the world. This is an excellent opportunity to learn more about the possible. And I hope you take full advantage of the people and the resources that we have here for you today. I would be remiss without putting in a plug for looking for opportunities to stay in our great state. I truly believe that it is important to explore the world, but I want you to know that I am working tirelessly to make Vermont a better place for you to grow your roots and have a career in life that feels fulfilling and meaningful. We have some amazing opportunities that exist and as well as so much of an open canvas for you to create new paths within the state. We would be so lucky to have each and every one of you here. And just before I wrap, I need to do, I love doing this, offering um, 
an opportunity for anyone who's interested, uh, if you're interested in democracy and the legislative process, uh, I have an open door and welcome you if you wanna shadow me for a day or experience the building. Um, that is something I want you to know we, we have to offer and would love to have you. In closing, I wish you all the best in your future endeavors and I know that you will all do great things. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you, speaker. We appreciate your time and what great advice. Be curious about yourself and the world. What a, what a nice setup for our workshops today. Um, sorry, I've lost my place. We're now gonna be sending you off to your first set of workshops. Uh, if you can, and that's my task for, to introduce Sarah Vargo. So we have an incredible team of people in blue vests that you can see here today that can guide you along. One of those great people is Sarah Vargo, assistant manager of our gear up program. She's gonna help us walk through what our next steps are gonna to be today. So enjoy your day and welcome Sarah, please. Oh, see, I did it, I didn't trip. How is everyone feeling? Yes, Speaker Kuinski really encouraged us to stay curious today and I am hopeful that's what everyone does because today there's just so much out there for us to explore. Um, thank you for being here. We'll be sending you off to your first workshops in just a moment. If you can't remember what session you signed up for, don't worry, we got you. You're welcome to join any session you would like. All of our workshops today will be recorded and posted to our event website within a week following today's event. So start your timers now. Um, don't forget to fill out your evaluations. These are really important. They help us just improve the information that you give us or um, improve the information we give you, I should say. Um, everyone that completes the evaluation by March 26 will be entered for a chance to win a hundred dollar VSAC or VSAC visa gift card. Um, virtual attendees, you can find all the links to the next sessions program, which is available at vsac.org backslash CCP. Shearson is also going to post the links to our chat. You can directly click on the link to the next session that you're interested to join or check out the program if you want to review your options before deciding. The workshops that we have going on is the college search, finding the right fit, money after high school, strategies for the SAT and ACT, supporting your teen's career search. The passcode is VSAC2023 for all sessions. If you run into any technical problems today, you can call the tech support number there's more information on this in the program, and we'll also post this to the chat. That's not for the in-person sessions. In-person attendees, if you're interested in attending the college search, finding the right fit, you're in the right place. I will be giving that presentation. We'll be starting at 9.55, so feel free to go to the bathroom, grab another donut, um, some coffee, Everyone else is going to head out of the room to one of the other three workshop rooms on this floor. You can refer to the map in your folder or ask any of the staff in blue vests if you need help. Thanks again, everyone, for being here. I wish you all the best. Remember to hold on to that curiosity. It is 9.51. You woke up. You're here. It's going to be a good day. Thanks for coming.